Hello, ladies, gents, and my most faithful companions will not give up on me. Oh, man, if you're still here, you are the real MVP. You're the real guy or gal that sticks by me when all is your, you know, where you're not a fair weather friend. You're sticking by me through thick and thin. You're not here just for the fat cows and the blood harvest. You're here for when things get tough, desperation sets in, and life is but a dream. Everything is a nightmare. And Derek, you laughs behind my back whenever I turned it. It's just nothing but misery. And you're still here to witness it because you're just that kind of an incredible, delightful soul. That is the kind of person that you are. You don't just show up when the party's being thrown and everybody's dancing and you're having a good time and then, oh, see you later. The moment that somebody brings up, that, hey, somebody does has to do the cleanup. No, no, you come in here, you roll up your sleeves, you are ready to do the dirty work of watching each and every one of the most Painful, painful experience of my life. This is like, it's nothing that compares. Getting my face stitched up after I dropped my face onto a, an end table and I nearly lost my eye. Hardly a scratch compared to the pain that I feel this mole eventually will come out, right? <laughs> I think you just need to be a little bit lower, so it has an ample opportunity to to be optimally annoying. The mole had to be perfectly annoying for it to come out. Can't possibly come out when it's only a minor inconvenience. It needs to be the most annoying possible. That's the way it's actually designed. We just witnessed how it's actually designed that way. I hate the fact that I was unable to get the freaking fuck you Jedi, but I do not choose the way that the key spawned. I am a mere servant to the gods of this Polonky world. We're just going to hope. We're just going to have to hope. I hate this. I hate this entire thing. We're just going to wait this out. Hey. You got a little closer. No, don't jump, you absolute moron. At least he did that and now he'll he'll open the other side. Roll it, roll it, roll it, baby. Okay, off he goes. That's the that's the real fella. So yeah, you're not one of those people. You're not one of those people. That only wants to watch the highlights. Stick around for everything. That's you. I was hoping to get enough torch damage here. Each one of the torch hits. Hits its two points of damage, so it's really not that much of a a massive annoyance to kill. Oh, okay, is that? Uh, it, it's not that much of a massive annoyance to. Uh, actually, I wanted to go the other way. To kill Mole Man with a torch, because the fire hits. There you go. The fire hits, and the torch hits. So therefore, you just need to hit like four times. Plus his own self damage because he's a Moran. And uh, you're good to go. It's not that big a deal. Should be alright. Everything should be okay. We're going to Volcana because, you know, we're not able to find the freaking Uchatai. So, this is our fate. It's alright. This is the run that I throw away at the 30 minute mark. And then I'm stuck trying to salvage everything uh, for the next. 50 minutes to an hour so this one this one right here doesn't even matter does it the the typical power pack holy crap power pack experience that will be cut short let's say by um, a neo babylon neo babylon spark trap after i get wrecked by a barrier that I missed time. Okay. Please stop. All of these things must stop. 
All right. Oh, that's right. You're immune to fire, so you're actually immune to the things that are happening. Here. Just get out of here. Just give me that stupid clover. Get me that fantastic bow that I appreciate so much. Uh, as I just dig randomly and off in whatever direction. That is not the bow. Is that it? Nope. Let's, fi let's find it because sometimes I screw myself out of the arrow thrower here. It's alright. I got weapon focus on it. Get a plus one to hit my base attack bonus. Wait, 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 wait. Do not open. Think. Think, Baco, think. Look at what you made me do. I can't freaking believe it. There you go. I have yet to watch Invincible. I've only seen the freaking meme. Uh, definitely on the to watch list, though, because it looks like right up my alley. I do love me some violent animation. Big fan of Berserk. Seems like Invincible is in the same vein. I know it's like a, like the boys animated, basically, like the, the, the shorthand that I've seen about it. Oh boy, let <laughs> me just leave. This is like entirely the wrong path. Entirely the wrong path. Let's see if we can salvage this nonsense. All right, good stuff. And look, it's completely free boots. Oh, free boots. All you need to do is pay funny money. It's no big deal. We'll just sprint another f seven trillion. Who cares? It's no consequence whatsoever. Mm, let me just murder each and every one of you. I am always happy to spread death and destruction to all the fools that stand in my way. Oh, this is an extremely miserable level. Everything's miserable and everything sucks. <laughs> uh, wow. I'm glad that I not end up roasted by that thing. I don't know why I bring this power pack in here. It's like, you're just asking for disaster. And there's hardly any benefit. I do have giant bombs, which kind of makes a huge difference. I hate this. I hate this. There you go. And now I have a dog. Go down there, dog. I think it's, I don't want to go all the way down yet. In fact, I want this power pack. Don't explode, power pack. I am sure you'll survive, right? You'll totally survive. How can I get Major Stupid out of this predicament he has put himself in without destroying anything else? I think that bomb will be excellent. Absolute excellence has been achieved by that explosive. Now we can hopefully travel all the way back to Cali's domain. There you are. Oh, sweet deal, my good friend. Now with the Vladscape. Screw this power pack. It's a piece of garbage. Let's just carry on. Actually, no. This power pack is fantastic. It's the greatest thing since freaking sliced bread rolled up and crammed into my mouth. Give me that. But don't stay there because there is fireboys that descend and uh, obliterate you. So let's just start bombing down from this corner of the world. Kaboom! Oh man, isn't this convenient? Mmm, perfection. Look at that. Fantastic vindication for this power pack. Is it a vindication for the power pack? I don't think so. It made no difference whatsoever. I basically saved me one bomb. What a wonderful little bunch of crates over there. How fantastic. Good wrecked! Filthy. Filthy vampires. Alright, we're fully equipped now. Everything's great. Never got to. Never got to see. Actually, no, we do still need the Kapala. Oh, we'll get there. In fact, I need to send all the way to the bottom. Get myself a clover. Maybe, perhaps, if enough circumstances come to pass. All right. 
Please desist. Stop it. I hate you. I hate all of you. Gronks, I have a beautiful present for you. And that is eternal servitude to a dark goddess. Do you accept this? Do you accept this mission? Only you can be entrusted for this mission. It's extremely important. Will you stop being foolish? Come with me. Okay, Mr. Rock Boy. You seem like an entrepreneurial fella. So let me just grab your less intellectually inclined brother. So we can go all the way back up there. Get a sacrifice going. Oops, turns out your brother was not enough of a sacrifice? Hmm, it seems that I better complete the double fratricide. Actually, it's not a fratricide if you're not killing your own brother. I don't know why I just dropped that, that cape. I meant to pick up the boy. That's what happened. I meant to pick up the boy who is far too stupid to climb where I'm at. Very aggressive of you. I like your spunk, buddy. I like your spunk. Unfortunately, I like the spunk that Callie gives me much better. Perfection. Mm -mm -mm. Fill my mouth with spunk. Of the bloody variety. That is a very rare, awful condition that I would not wish on anybody. But I do enjoy drinking it. Alright. We're basically set for life. Actually, no. We would love some sticky bombs. Do I want to spend four bombs to do this skip? Honestly, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Skip is just too much. Oh, baby, what might I be doing when you see this video? By the time you see this video, I'll probably be two days into my trip. I need this crate. I am in dire need of this crate. We're going to spend several resources. Actually, just that. Is that reasonable? Not sure. But it's what I spent. That's like the worst position bomb in the entire history of the world. What just happened. But good enough. It will do the job. It will do the job. There you go. What might I be doing? Might I be having a delicious sandwich? Seaside? Accompanied with my family? Come over here, you stupid big fat head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the skip is so good. Oh, it makes me feel good. We didn't save Ben Horseface, so there's no real reason to do anything. But the thing that we always do, which is go to Clone Gun City. And I could try to rely on getting that skip. Whoa, that was uh, very aggressive of you, Mr. Olmec. Sorry, right. we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not so much time. Okay, so was that worth all the bombs I just spent? No, not quite. It was actually super not worth at all. But whatever. I don't give a crap. You're in the boss of me. What is this undead convention? Vampires so let's Please don't to suck up my blood. Just to the pack, please get it off my back. Absolute trash garbage. Might I be having a nice walk through a betreed walkside place? Might I be getting my stupid bureaucracy driven paperwork done? It will be a Monday when I'm there. Might I all be all done with that nonsense? I am dealing with a setback related to that. Why do you keep giving me broken trash garbage? Glove. 
I hates you. Ah, we're good. We're good here. Manslayer. What the absolute freaking MVP. What a guy. Freaking amazing talent. Manslayer. That's all I got to say. It just came to my head. But I must praise this man. He is the greatest of all time. He is the absolute GOAT. His uh, channel. Always full of hilarity. Please. <laughs> Stupid bat. He makes machinima type of deals. Never fails. Never fails to be gut busted. Yeah. The jokes are mostly always the same. <laughs> but it's always freaking funny as hell. Alright. All done. Extremely not safe for work though. I honestly resent even the concept of the not safe for work warning. It's like, if you're browsing things on the internet to waste time at work, it, that should be like, you need to assume that risk. You can't put that on other people to warn you that, oh, this wasn't safe to use company money on to browse the internet and stumble upon. You should have warned me about that when I made the decision to f fart around on the internet. Well, this is uh, very bad. I mean, not very bad. It's not like a horrendous catastrophe or anything like that, but usually there's a nice spot over there to kill freaking Fathead over here. Not today. Fathead is plain hard to kill. Much like my mother-in-law. That's all right. I got the better end of her. The back end that was enormous. Okay, okay. I accomplished. Got the front end. They were not very happy about it. it smelled really bad. Anyway, I've said too much. Uh, okay, so we have a whole bunch of slaves. I enjoy. The assistance provided by slaves. And I believe it is the progressive thing to do. To give them a sword. Actually, I don't want this guy to get the sword. Uh, it's, there's another one in the top that I already left behind. He's, he's dead, right? He's completely dead. <laughs> what did I do with my, uh, my clone gun? I think I left it at the exit, yeah. And I don't know why... I insist on this entire Gronk effort when then I spectacularly screw up the entire skip. I may have come across a small problem where I can't really f fish this idiot out of here. <laughs> He's too stupid to release. Well, I guess we can just bring the sword to him, right? Let's just bring the sword to him, for he is 100% incapable. You know, they've been doing improvements on hard help. They've been working so hard, and they have given them so many good features and, and intelligent moves. I would love for them to not be so utterly stupid underwater. It's like, now he decides, I'm just going to go up there with this sword. I'm just going to do it. Before, I didn't want to do it because, I don't know, I was carrying this crab. I felt kind of kind of thirsty. But now, now that uh, you don't really want me to do it, I'm going to do it. All right, so you drop the sword. You grab the sword. Please release the skull. Well done. Could I maybe... You're going to come with me because you are a bloodthirsty son of a bitch. Ow. This is a bad spot, too. Mm, uh, usually water areas are pretty great. Okay, I accept that. I am glad that he got punished. Okay, okay, just, just remain there. Remain there. No, you absolute buffoon! <sighs> Why would he move? That made no sense. Like, all right, all right. I'm going to wait 
for the crush thing to come down so I can be properly destroyed immediately for maximum effect. Well, what do I want to do? Do I want to go resource heavy or do I want to go quest? Let's go quest line. You know what? You know what? I've had it. I've had it with all this nonsense experiences where I'm like, I don't even have a way to skip, do I? Other than, you know, the usual. Four bombs. Let's put a bomb here. But it's so frustrating because I do the skip the way you're supposed to. Why am I carrying freaking Trepanator in there? Makes no sense. I do the skip the way you're supposed to. I lined it up just right. It didn't work out. Hmm. I mean, perhaps do them ridiculously dumb to get it done. Come down, calm down. All right. Oh, you like me some extra blood. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop! Stop it! <laughs> uh, this is kind of dangerous. It should be okay. You lying like that? This. Let's go four bucks. That all worked out. And it's not even getting burnt. It's all good. I do have climbing. It's like every time I do this, I forget that you actually need to give yourself an escape route. <laughs> so it's like, thank goodness I have climbing gloves. Otherwise, this would be a nightmare to get out of. All right, got that done. I'm sorry, clone gun. I'm sorry. I am too much of a chicken to go for the Vlad skip. I'll just go this path. I was supposed to get a beautiful Gronk assist. But no. He was too damn stupid not to see the descending crush block. Let's just be happy that I have the extra the extra life. Let's just be happy I have the extra life. Life is good. We're going to get that quest line complete. So good. And this really going to Absu. At least that you skip a whole level, doesn't it? A whole uh, tide pool level. Skippable? Straight to the Ice caves. Mm -mm -mm. Might as well harvest blood. Now that I have this life that I will never, ever, ever, ever waste. We will harvest blood until I have 20 million health. Yeah, baby. Actually, I don't have any spike shoes. Absolutely tragic. Tragic, I say. Ooh. There you go. All right, we can definitely kill that disgusting creature. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got a little bit of caution though. Do you like to charge? You giant piece of trash. Well, that's a lot of blood. I'd love to see the sprays of all that viscera. My face is completely covered in vital juices. And I love it. Let's see if we can find a... one of these. Hey, yep. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, you enter this place with a thing. Actually, <laughs> I don't have the clone gun. That's a little moron. I guess I could leave the sword, but what would be the point? What would be the point of leaving the sword? You get it for the challenge. You don't even use it at the challenge, so makes no sense. Just keep it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, made it. Oh, baby, it feels pretty great. Every time it feels amazing. Oh, that's right, they did change this. The sword it used to not destroy those armored fools. But now it does. I'm trying to get rid of this piece of garbage. I almost got myself crushed right there. I'm so thankful that the game prevented me from getting crushed because my inputs were leading me straight to being crushed. Pay attention, you absolute buffoon! I am paying attention, right? I am being very, very attentive. Nothing is distracting me. Do not forget... Fly boy! 
I'm going to say Quillen. I don't care what you're pronounced to pr supposed to pronounce it. It's Quillen. Is the way I read it. Is the way I pronounce it. Quillen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. With that. Give me a guide. Cracked Jade Vortex. Thank you. First time ever I get it close to the exit. Like, there's been other times where it's been sort of close, but I still had to look. First time it's ever been, like, right there, grab it and go. So, goes to show that's not really... Oh, nice. We won that a great deal. Careful, though. Oopla. Why not? Just purchase, purchase, purchase. Feels great. Feels great. Don't kill me. Those extra bombs are going to help out a great deal. All right. This cracked jade serpent. All right. I was slightly... Every time it takes a little second. And that second is full of tension. Uh, we did get the extra health opportunity for the madam. Oh. Oh. It's going... My goodness. All kinds of nightmares. And we have a Kapala. It's all great. Extra health. Life is amazing. We don't need a million resources. I like to carry it. It just feels safer to carry this piece of garbage. Just don't swat it out of my hands, though. All right. I think it has become... Ow. Become quite clear as I progress that I am fully focused on the game. No stories for you. No rants. No idiotic podcast uh, uh, misdirections or, or, or deviations. Nothing but pure, unadulterated spelunking. That's what it's at. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. That's right. I am a freaking king. I'm king of this plan. And you will not stop me from being victorious. <sighs> Made it. Made it another time. And every time I get this far, I just assume I'm going to get through this sunken city. Every time I'm like, of course I'm going to win. Of course I'm going to win. How dare you even doubt it? Shame on you for even suggesting, you stupid subconscious. Shame on you for suggesting that I have anything other than a 100% win rate in the sunken city and there's never been a single problem in the sunken city. My bow has never been destroyed. My forehead has never been exploded by freaking bubble wrap. None of those things have ever happened. And I resent the fact that you're even talking about it right now. So don't even mention it to me. You are a non-believer. What the freaking hell? <laughs> Every time, man. Is that why? Why do I wait here? It's pretty time sensitive, this whole level. Actually, without the clone gun, it's not that much. So I can just sit here and get the, those four points of health, no problem. Uh, with a clone gun, yeah, you do want to hurry up a little bit. I guess we're going... Is that the hole? Is that the hole I must go into? Yep. Kind of nightmarish, not gonna lie. <laughs> this entire, entire side of the level. Some good stuff. Careful though. Ascend with much trepidation. Grab me the bow. Rat face may not have spawned here, so let's not assume that it did. Guess we're going down this way. Alright. Get wrecked. Piece of garbage. Not spending a rope. Not spending nothing. Okay, I've been humiliated by some freaking nonsense you can get eaten by that frog so I should definitely not underestimate it oh this way yeah rat face did not spawn here it didn't right I'm gonna go back <laughs> I can't I have been traumatized too many times I have been humiliated unreasonably treated by this game 
I need to be 100% certain that there was no challenge in this place. I then just randomly s skip the little uh, booth because I was too damn idiotic. Okay, well, it looks good. It looks fine. Maybe that corner over there. All right. I think I can be 100% certain. Look at that. The clone gun would have been a total waste. Oh, I've vindicated my cowardice, my craven nature, my laziness. All comes to fruition. What an incredible, fantastic show of serendipity. Appreciate it. Both shall not be disturbed. Hello, Ratface. I am ready to do your bidding. This is no challenge whatsoever for me. Would really appreciate some sticky bombs. Ooh, that was, that was upsetting to see that that boy. Are you gonna get resurrected? Probably. I'll just leave you down there. What's the worst that you can do? There's nothing you can do against me. You're too much of a pansy piece of garbage. We've been watching all through around like three months now. The last three months, all that we've been watching, the wife and I, Mother Family. There's 11 seasons of the show. And I always thought it was a good show, like great writing. Uh, I watched it in Spanish. And I was like, man, the, the writing is just... Like, it, it, at first it looks like, you know, the typical sitcom is going to be boring. But it's like super good writing at the start. And it... We've been watching, we're on season 9 now, and it just doesn't get worse. There are some episodes that are, eh, this one was more hit and miss than the others. But it's on a episode by episode basis. You look at any season, and we've had about the same enjoyment and laughs that we've had from any other season. It's uncanny, the really consistent quality of Modern Family. Currently, season 11 is the last. I would say it's like maybe a little bit less funny. It's like necessarily so. There's only so many times you can make the same joke, coming up with new things for your characters to do. You know, it's a it's a fat challenge to keep your writing fresh after, after uh, now we are in the ninth season. And yeah, there is some wear and tear around the edges, you know, there's a lot of tropes and redone, reno, redone plot points and uh, and characters that just constantly do the same silly thing, and that's the problem they have. It's all a, like a misunderstanding. But the writers kind of like caught onto that they were doing that, so they made fun of it, and they kind of address it in a somewhat clever way. But what's most impressive about modern family writing, the just the scripts is. There's some really quick witted quips. That's like where the show is at its best. Not the big like plot points and set pieces. Those are more predictable than anything else. But the moment to moment dialogue in Modern Family, it has some really, really good turns that catch you off guard. How really funny and well written it can be. Like I said, hit or miss sometimes. But there's an unreasonable amount of hits in a show that has been running or was running for 11, 11 seasons. It's like, how do you people not get horrendously stale? They did it. It's amazing. Anyway. We want to kill this piece of trash. Eh. Let's just be a little bit more patient here. The water's gonna make this annoying. I don't like the water. The water's too. It's awful. And now the snake is gonna come out. Yeah, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this can be disastrous. I think we'll be okay. All right, it's all good. I don't know why I'm going out my way to do that. Careful about nonsense. Always careful about nonsense here. Trigger that. Are we here already? Woo. 
That's not gonna work out. Nah, I'm stuck. Uh, I'm stuck whipping bumps. That's all right. That's okay. The water made it too stressful to come up here uh, successfully. Whipping bombs, or you know, the stumps are actually safe as long as you don't go overboard with them. You stump once and retreat. Stump once, retreat. And you'll be okay. Whoop. Okay, snake. You can attack now. Sorry. Plenty of time. Whoop. Focus for a moment. Okay, one attack from the snake. Yoopla. Woohoo! <laughs> Killing Hundun without the sticky bombs. That's where it, it's actually interesting. At least for a pleb like myself. We shouldn't be alternating heads or anything, but I just take the attacks that I, I can get. Ooh. Thankfully I have the safety net and not whoosh of not needing not having a jetpack. Wow, you're a one resilient chicken, aren't you? more attack and this should be it nope patiently engaging this piece of garbage that's how you how you lose do you know how you lose grow overconfident you grow impatient you let your guard down about all these fiery projectiles. Finally. Man, took a while. Okay, you disgusting vampire. You shall be destroyed. It's all good. Life is grand. There could be a crate on that side. There ain't. Oh. You know. Oh, hello. Hello. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh. First try, first go. Always oh, feels so good when I don't die in the middle. Oh, it's so nice. And 48 bombs is great. No, it ain't 99, and they ain't sticky. I'm not complaining, though. Kabubo. Whoopla. All right, that's number one. You absolute bitches. Probably don't even need to disturb you idiots. There you go. Do we care about this one? Nah, what's the worst that can happen? We'll be okay. We don't need to destroy every single crush trap. Come on. What's possibly what could possibly go wrong? Oh man, she aimed. Freaking thread the needle over there. Amazing. So yeah, really impressed with the modern family writers. I need to look up. It has been exactly the same writers all through the years. Or they've had a revolving door. Usually when a show is consistent like that and the humor stays on point for the most part, it's the same people in charge for the entire run. Reference The Simpsons. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything? Simpsons is just a miserable slog of horrendous garbage. Let's put a bomb here. Uh, actually, I haven't watched any of the most recent ones. I did see one person say one time that, you know what, the latest season is actually not that bad. It's not like amazing or anything. It's not all Simpsons worthy, but it's not quite zombie Simpsons. Okay, so I hate this. Going to cool it. Because there's this cat and there's this a cobra, right? So there's a potential for a disaster cha disastrous chain of events here. And I respect this cat and this cobra too much for me not to do something like this. 
I have been screwed so many times in the past. I think spending one bomb to make sure I don't get utterly destroyed. Okay. Feels more of a joy to see you be instantly humiliated by that event. Pfft. What a piece of garbage! Is there even a reason to ever use that? Well, I thought that the bomb would drop where I wanted it to drop. I'm not sure. The freeze gun. Is there anything? I guess to get rid of some lava. That could be useful for that. feel no remorse. And look at that. Access to a crate that gave me absolutely nothing. Eva bitch! Let me crack your skull with this pot! Please perish. Perish now! Alright. <laughs> what did I say? We are going full on. Ooh. Going full on. Gameplay concentration. Sure. There's one more ball. There's one more ball. I don't know why I destroyed that one. It makes no sense, but... I'm just go in here. I'm just come kill you, okay? Just hunt you down. I murdered you. That's the kind of person that I am. There was actually no danger at all. Don't worry. Don't worry. I hate this. Let's see this. Actually, I was going to throw this lady at the cat, but that's the last bubble, and I don't know where the exit's at. So, learn from past mistakes. Clear a path to the exit, or at the very least, locate it. And only then may you. Only then may you go do anything. This must happen. <laughs> I don't know where the exit's at. We'll find it. You stress me out. It's only uh, 45 seconds, though. The level's not that big. We loop a few times. We went through the other side. The level's not that big, brother. And this is when I get flustered and I start making mistakes. Maybe from the top layer? I haven't gone through the top layer. Aha! <gasps> what just happened? I don't know, but I'm glad that I'm alive. Oh. That was so traumatic just now. <laughs> so freaking traumatic. That was awful. Oh! <laughs> How do you like the introduction? To the cosmic ocean that we had today. Back to back temple nightmares. What an amazing experience. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, careful here. Lava can get ya. Alright, just one more. Careful with uh, elevators. Careful with those things happening. Very traumatic. Okay. No, don't break it. Locate the exit. Plenty of time. Locate the exit. It's like a pretty small level. Last bubble is left hand side middle. Let me that exit. Usually it's short level, you'll be able to see it from the side, but no luck today. I think that bomb will do both. We'll do both. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay, so it's a pretty easy exit, but it is guarded. It is guarded by force field, so. Take it easy. Don't try to run in. You juke the jelly. If this happens, you just loop a couple times, it's no big deal. Is it behind me? Okay, I think I have plenty of time here to juke the jelly. Juke the jelly! My words make no sense whatsoever. Third temple in four levels? Sure. What, you think you can intimidate me, Spelunky? You think you can, you can bring me down? You're correct. You can break me down. Please be gentle. Well, don't do this to me. Look down. Okay, send that flying. Thank you. Our third 
tempo level was actually reasonable. In fact, it was basically trivial. I'm not going to take you for granted. I am not. I will jump straight to the exit only if I'm in, when I'm ready. Uh, 54 health. I think if we die, it will not be because of health loss. So, take it easy. I already saw all three bubbles. Just gotta locate the way out. Easy. Oh, very convenient frog. Well done, my amphibian friend. Please stop giving me ropes. I appreciate the fact you're giving me anything at all. So don't hear me complain. This is just advice. This is just general, good intentioned request. Well, that's easy. Don't underestimate the lizard. So this exit is actually kind of annoying. I'm going to take the risk and uh, just navigate to it. Well, that's a dead end, huh? Oh, the other side. This is actually a... Uh, you know what? These two bombs should do it. Where did that snake come from? Was it just embedded in the walls? That was bizarre. Alright, so I respect you, lizard. There you go. Nice. Whew! Hit that uh, I had to spend two bombs in such a trivial level, but I think it was worth it. It could have been a disaster. If I had chosen to go in a different direction. Yeah. Ball number three. Do not leave. Do not burst. There's the exit. All right. Never mind. Do burst. Oh man, there's arrows in the loop. Let's uh, let's wait them out. Duran! Filthy giant tooth monstrosity. I think the arrow is collapsed onto a side somewhere. Oops, uh, okay, wait out the jelly. It's coming from the bottom, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh. A slight miscalculation. All right. Another level. I can't believe we're only 7 Eleven, man. <laughs> only 7 Eleven. It's been a miserable slog. Through temple levels. Only recently did I get some easy ones. Okay, so that's the exit, top left. Believe I already found a ball. Ready to whip more. Ow. I love how I do this super expert out of the sky. Hit, and then I get hit by a. Uh, Spider pot. Well done. Nice. Um, can I enter that spot? Not really. A couple bumps I can if I go this way. Totally worth it. <laughs> Just keep dumping all those ropes, ropes on me, all right? It's all good. It's, it's fine. I accept them. Perfectly okay. Anyway, top left. So it's going to come right on my butt. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hello, nice. I think bombs are way overdue. Ropes are very overdone. Please desist. Actually, you know what? I will give you 20 bombs for a jar full of jizz. Do you accept these terms? I hope so. Okay, I have gone in an idiotic loop. Is that a freaking machete? Yes, it is. What an incredible get. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it's debatable that it's not... It's really not bad. Let's roll with machete for a little while. I haven't used it in the Cosmic Ocean, I don't think. Uh, it's great for cobwebs. It's great for just killing monsters that you have to wait to have to whip again and that kind of stuff. So it might be the low-key MVP of the Cosmic Ocean. It allows me to just cut this thing to bits. The timing is a little weirder than the whip. I do miss the old-fashioned HD machete. The timing on that was perfect. 
I don't really like the timing on the on Spelunky 2 Machete. It's it's kind of weird. It's like it, it, it's too smooth. I'm trying to I'm trying to make that into a thing, but you know, work out. Yeah, maybe should have seen that coming. Thankfully, never punished. Yeah. All right. Now let's roll the machete. Let's see how it works. Let's see how, how it goes. One ball complete. Two ball complete. I don't really uh, ever given it a chance. I don't think. Let the lizard roll. It's just weird timing. It's, I feel like it's gonna, you know, really throw me. Well, I feel like uh, probably would not have missed that if I had the whip. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh baby! <laughs> a non-trivial place. <laughs> oh man, my ball sack just jumped into my brain pan, skipped my throat altogether. Usually it's a bow tie, today it's a hat. I wear my ball sack as a hat today because it jumped from my loins. All the way up. Holy crap, did that startle the crap out of me. <laughs> that was very, very intense. Another thing that is very, very intense, uh, the location of this bubble. Requiring me to use a, a bomb or you're just boned. There's nothing you can do about it. I guess if you can finagle an alien into it. Oof, almost liberated uh, all that. Liberated all that lava. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. Traumatic events. We survive. I don't know why I'm destroying all these. It's, it's going to come back to haunt me. It just needs to drop into one pool of lava. And it's over. It's absolutely over. <laughs> it's <laughs> just need two more balls. I would appreciate them. Please explode. Oh, much blood those guys drop. They were ceased to amaze. Okay, do not blow up that alien, please. Oh, man, that's another instance of please let me know that moment because I will forget it, you know? And I would like to put that in a highlight reel <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> oh, man, was that traumatic. Damn. Anyway, this level is, is complete garbage. I am glad that I saw the elevator, though before I was utterly destroyed. I hate it. I've only found one ball. We are almost at the two minute mark. Gotta go in and try to find it. Hey. There's one more somewhere though. We're out of time. Not quite yet, but definitely on the low end of the time scale. Nope, do not blow that up. It will really destroy me. Come on. And I saw the exit. I forgot to make a note in my brain pan. Ah, oh, there you are. I have to, it's, it's too late. Please, 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 please. No, 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 please. Here it comes. Ah, ah. <laughs> Forget where the exit was. What's that? I need a I need a moment. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why does this gate hate me? <coughs> oh man. Alright, so we're we're panicking. There is another jelly coming. We gotta synchronize them. Is that the exit right there? I think it is. Yes. So easy to easy. We can wait this out. Very vicious creatures. Oh, wow. Such a miserable seed. There's been some good levels. Nearly every level. A good 70% of these levels has been just a miserable slog. Like constant danger and tension. And just, or at the very least, you're just struggling to find. Okay. 
Right hand side, almost bottom. Right hand side, almost bottom. It is the exit. I need one more ball to destroy. Okay. Nothing here. What am I going for? This is 6 to 3 health. You're not going to die from health loss. You're going to die when the jelly inevitably catches you. Ow. Two minutes. There's no reason to despair just yet. I hear it. Nice. Okay, what's uh, right? Almost bottom. Okay. All right, I'll use one of these. Right bottom. Ow. <laughs> Look there. The turrets are hard to avoid, all right? Just wait this out. There it is. Uh, uh, top. Oh, the turrets are perhaps the hardest thing to avoid of all the traps. There's no reason to go that way. Please, no arrow in the loop. That would be very, very rude of you. Another bowl complete. As soon as I finish this level, or if I finish this level, I'm going to need to gulp some water. I am. Oh, I'm just full, full attention. Not an hour yet. That's a pr pretty good pace, at, you know, from my perspectives. So this jelly, we can go through here and there's no danger. You go the other side. You will get pretty destroyed. What the? Pretty destroyed by the arrow trap. There you go. Hey, thank you. For the easy one. Oh, nice. About freaking time. We got a good... Nope. About freaking time we got a good level. The thing I like is the boomerang. The boomerang is pretty nice. Actually, the boomerang's nice when you're trying to gather blood. Other than that, you probably just want good old-fashioned whip. When I am this high on health, I think I'm okay with the whip. Okay. Number one. I've jumped into moss of red before meant to drink water completely forgot I, I just get too excited to get for the damn exit uh that's it i think i saw the exit too i completely forgot to make a mental note as usual let me explore for it again i think it was right here that's a tough one to reach huh let's see how we can reach that before finding the last bubble Wow. Like right in the middle. Ah, there's a nice convenient vine right here. Here, catch this bitch. Get wrecked. Alright. <laughs> Can you tell? It fills me with great satisfaction to bomb those guys. It is so good. Can I get in there? Not really made from the top. I can just use one bomb. Let's just go through here. Will that do it? It did not. Let's just cook a bone. What's the worst that can happen? Son of a bitch. Okay, it's cool. Your approach here? <laughs> that was not a very cool approach whatsoever. Alright, let's throw another one. Let me out of here. Level complete. Need some water. Holy crap, this is rough. Only 719, holy shit. But hey, if this is the chosen run, if this is the time, that is going to happen. How wonderful of a run would it be? It's too much death and destruction down there. <laughs> Alright, exit, top. Right. Makes it top right. Very nice. Love it when when it I don't really care where the bubbles are at. When the exit is in a good spot. Fills me with great joy. Just like when you're getting married and you know exactly where the exit's at. It's great strategy. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, you never know when you might want to drop everything on run. Pretty damn important to know where the exits are at at all times. Whenever you're like casing a joint, also extremely important. Ooh. Do -do 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 -do. Anytime, really, that you're committed a crime. Want to know where the exit is at. Something I've learned through a lot of years of experience. Alrighty. Easy level. Ah, I don't mind the jungles. There's not that many things I can get you. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Look, I just ate some freaking gross Pizza Hut pizza. It wasn't gross. Like I enjoy it. Like, man, you need to put straight out cow pie in a pizza for me not to enjoy it at some level. If there is a least favorite for me to pick, it is Pizza Hut pizza. It's just the crust, it ain't good. It just ain't good crust. The greens are fine. It's, it's fine. It's not like too greasy or anything. It's just greasy for pizza like any other pizza. Definitely my least favorite of all of them. All the chains. My favorite pizza. What's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza. Sorry to tell you, it's going to sound cheesy. It's going to sound corny. But it's the honest to goodness truth. My wife's homemade pizza is the absolute best pizza in the universe. It is just so great. She makes this dough that is just absolutely gorgeous. It's so good. It's like kind of bread dough, but with a, a little bit different flour and so crunchy. And oh, it's, oh, it's so... <laughs> Anytime she says, want some homemade pizza? Yes! There is no hesitation. Doesn't matter if I had pizza the day before it doesn't matter my wife offers some homemade pizza i'm going to be hell freaking yes you owe me pizza now you can't back out of that that's how it works what is this nightmare firebuck convention we don't want any part of that no part of that whatsoever please no but oh, let's speak only of the chains definitely it would be the local chains oh, oh the Maybe in your area, there will be a good so-and-so franchise company. Like the local, it's called Great Alaska Pizza Company. And it's, it's decent. But for the best pizza here in this town, you have to go to... Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a chain, now that I think about it. It may be a chain. I don't think it is. I think it's just somebody that opened a wood-fired oven in this... Uh, in this town. Uh, I need to use a rope here. Not really need to, but you know. It's better that way. I'll be honest. I wish I had not come this way. <laughs> Pretty sure it was this way. <laughs> Alright. It's all good. But of all the big chains, all of them are pretty nasty compared to either a local wood-fired oven pizza, which is just really good stuff they also go for more outlandish ingredients which i am always a big fan yeah you have hear me you have heard me go at length about tuna seafood shrimp etc in pizza and the eternally debate debated pineapple i don't understand how that's even a debate it's like pineapple on pizza is delicious to the extreme degree i don't get it some people are just stupid, I think. I think that's the truth, right? Uh, people that disagree with me on anything, are you, they just must be stupid. Pretty sure that's the only explanation possible. Okay, so the exit is right there. He was at the bottom. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I almost walked face first onto that, that spark. Everything's great. What a wonderful Neo Babylon level. I am so happy that we went through that. Definitely will not need a heart transplant after that. There's number two. Just need one more ball. I am sure I will. F what the? 
Blanket. Blanket. Bats. Trash. Okay, don't do it. Plenty of time. That's how you lose. But there's the exit. All right. How you lose is improvising. Hang on to your methodology. Carry out the same process. If you have time, you don't pop the last bubble until you know where you're going. There's the exit. Seems like it's top uh, mid. More or less top mid. Close enough. Too many explosions here. That's <laughs> making me nervous. Making me nervous like a horny mare. Alright. Said like a the most oblique reference you can possibly come up with, I think. It's a reference to this joke my father tells in Spanish. So it, you would not ever know that it's a it's a joke. Because it doesn't you, you need rhymes for it. You need to rhyme the words in, in Spanish for mare and soft and soggy. Horse. All kinds of all different words. It's about a high society fellow. Goes to a house party. And the bitches are messing with the guy. The bitch is hosting the place. Well, I, I am, let's say, disappointed about this outcome. Man, do I absolutely loathe you. <laughs> I am disappointed about this outcome. But we do have 72 points of health. It's mostly just stress that this poison adds now. It just adds stress to my life. Almost got murdered by a <laughs> spike to the face, though. Um, so they decide to mess around. With the has society guy by telling these really lewd jokes that can be interpreted in a very like telling jokes that are perfectly innocent but they can be interpreted in an extremely lewd manner and they make rhymes and rhymes and jokes and jokes and the guy always interprets it in a very very lewd interpretation so they get all scandalized you must leave Mr. Marquise, you must leave. Or, oh no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. The, those are the exact words my parents said when they saw my face at the hospital. Okay, I would like more bubbles, please. I'm in a bubble-less existence. I need more to complete my experience. So, no, you're three. I'm fine. The poison's not going to be a factor other than the stress that it adds whenever it, it ticks and it makes me mad. There you are. I'll be honest, I don't remember where the exit was at, but we'll find it. <sighs> so glad I don't have a jetpack right now. <laughs> oh, man. It was at the bottom. Yeah, it was at the bottom. All right. Can't believe we're still in the 20s, man. This has been such a slog. They have uh, sped up quite a bit. These levels, they're not nearly as bad as they were at the beginning. But boy, uh, uh, uh. careful. Alright, let's get real things one thing at a time. All right. But, you know, there's no reason not to keep up with the health loss. Ow, <laughs> well, that was rude. Very rude of you to throw these rockets straight into my face. Wow, this is a gigantic level, huh? Oh, really? I have no idea where the exit's at. Okay. That gives me no information at all. Careful, the skeleton will be deaf. All right, well, uh, that was a lucky break. Unfortunately, this Yeti makes it more challenging than he had any right to be. All right, it's all good. They get scandalized. This is finished that freaking joke story. I'm I'm telling you how you tell this joke. <laughs> That's the context that I'm giving you. They get more and more scandalized when the Marquis 
interpret their awful jokes very lewdly until they give such a lewd joke that the Marquis himself is like, you know what? I am leaving because I am sure that's a dock. I meant to say cock. And dick, dock came out. So that's the, the mini joke in between the joke. My own diction and my own stupidity. How else can I humiliate myself? Oh, that was it, huh? I appreciate that. I just wait this out. I am not daunted. I'm just waiting it out. It's all right. Ah, the 30s. Here we come. Everything was fun and games in the 20s. First, we get to the... With the single digits. And we don't even know what's going on. We're just trying to slog through and survive. Basically, life... It's a matter of getting through the days without paying attention to anything. Just go through and try to stay alive. We get to the teens. And we're careless and carefree. We're just happy to be there. That's going to blow it up. And that's the last. And now I need to find the exit. Okay, that should be a somewhat easy one, right? Yeah. Please, please depart. <laughs> you are not welcome here. All right. Hmm. Give me my hat and my cane. Because I am sure that's a cock. And that's how the joke ends. And that's the right to laugh at the end of it. That's uh, many bubbles. Find the exit so that you may leave. We are sunken cityying, so might as well go out of my way to get health. 29 ropes. Here I am, wasting them all. I got 29 ropes. And a bitch is hanging from one. It made no sense at all. Yeah. yeah well, it led me straight to a freaking... Egg sack, so should be happy about it. Anyway, find the damn exit and get out of here. You absolute moron. That's triggered, but I might as well do that. Oh, yeah. Back to 71 health. Easy. Anyway, I saw the ball. I just need to get the... Need to get the exit now. I guess I'll use a rope here just so I don't have to loop. I use, the, use another rope here because the, the poison traps... I mean, the poison traps are no longer even relevant, are they? They will just throw me into a jelly at the wrong time. That's about it. All right, let's just do this thing. There it is. We go through the middle. Easy. Ah, another level complete. My father loves that joke. He has told it like, oh, no, man. At least I've heard him tell it ten times. To a different audience. There's not, like, it's not to a different audience. It's, there's always one person that's new, and he will tell it. He was going to tell it. He's good at telling it. We have just heard it a thousand times is the problem. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, the exit's right there. It can't be that hard to get to it, right? It can't be that hard to get to it. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful little. Some, some rough biomes. Thank you, Sunken City. Back to rescue me. We've been getting some rough biomes. Lots of... Uh, I mean, the temple hasn't shown up in a while. Lots of Neo-Babylon, though. Do -do 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 -do. My father is big into jokes. Like, scripted jokes that have a story to them. From beginning to end. Ah, uh, okay. I'll bomb it. I, I give up. I'll do what you want me to do. You piece of garbage. Upsetting. I would like to encounter the exit on the last bubbles, please. I really shouldn't be doing that. I'm running out of ropes. And uh, unlike bombs, you don't solve your rope situation with just one lucky find. You need to get kind of... Uh, I thought that that would do it, but I didn't. <laughs> you need to get a little lucky. We can do this, no problem. 
There you go. You need to get several rope piles in order... Oh, man. Let's just destroy all this. It's just a miserable pile of trash. My goodness. Oh, we can go for the two by the top. It's a lot easier. All right. Get to this one. Oh, yeah. Zing. Ow. Oh, it startles the crap out of me when I'm being chased. Not a point of damage happens. All right. Number one. Find me the exit. Find me the exit. An evil ball of fire. Traversing the level. Do not get wrecked by it. I mean, they do dissipate. That's why you want to break the... Whatchamacallem? The cauldrons. Instead of letting them loop forever. Pretty even so far on the health total. Ah, ah for, don't forget. The golden rule of Vulcana. You never climb. You always go down. Because there's the ball and chain. Nonsense. Pretty sure it was around here. I saw it earlier. And then I forgot where I saw it. <laughs> Same old story. There it is. Because I don't make a mental note. Kind of, it's so important. And I forget every time. Pretty sure I've uh, saved that one. Save that bubble. Huh. Ow! Well, that was idiotic. 69. Health, baby. Oh, man. Please eat them all. <laughs> Did they go through the spikes? Let's find out. I think we have seen this before. Yeah. Why am I so obsessed with that? He boomerang guy. It makes no sense. There is the third. I don't think I've seen the exit, though. Not comfortable with that. There it is, though. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm feeling pretty hoarse. I'm going to start winning. Is that a dad? I think that qualifies as a dad joke, right? I'm feeling so hoarse. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the thing is, it's not a joke. It's not a dad joke. It doesn't qualify as a dad joke until you find it amusing. If you're telling it ironically, it's not a dad joke. If you find it amusing and you tell it and you're sincerely amused by it, then it's an actual dad joke. And I qualify because I am just that simple minded. Well, I saw the ball. It's just kind of a massive pain in my asshole. Holy crap. That could have been a complete freaking disaster. Uh-oh. Mistake. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Thankfully, I was not stupid enough to ruin everything. This whole mess. They always catch me off guard, too, the way they jump. You think that you're going to be able to just slap them? Slap them silly? No real reason to know all the things I just did. Okay, number two. Find the exit. Find the last. Short level. Let's loop again. Whee! Actually, I could have just used that. Is that infinitely going up? No. It's only the stupidest elevator to ever exist. Let's just go. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a true elevator. Oh, I, got, I got nervous. I'll admit, I got nervous. I was about to get crushed. Hey. Get through another level. There is... Ooh. One ball has been popped. Yup. Oh, really? It's a dead end. Whee! Appreciate. It's great. I'm down with the ropes. I'm down with them. How stupid would it be? Ooh. I believe that I saw the ball. How stupid would it be if I died just trying to get over the jelly in that situation? There it is. It's actually ungettable without a bomb, huh? Oh, you piece of trash. 
<laughs> would have been I would be pretty mad if I had a jetpack. Why am I doing it like this? Why? Oh, that wasn't even the last. Dear. Slowly being whittled down, but we're doing okay still. Leave. I must leave. Alright. Aha! There you are. The exit was at the bottom. I believe. I believe I can fly. There you are, <laughs> holy crap, man. <laughs> Every one of these levels is giving me a goddamn heart attack. It's just freaking awful, man. I don't know why I did that. That's gonna be an annoying cross trap. Ding dong. Okay, oh, that's it. Very nice exit. Two bubbles, pretty easy. I want to send that away. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, there was one already destroyed. Great stuff. Alright, should be easy enough. He said what? Almost getting jellied. Ah. It's not too awful. The crush trap is annoying though. No, no, no. Mm. Oh. Never punished. <laughs> oh, this crush trap, though. Let us never speak. Let us never speak of what just transpired. I want nobody to ever mention to me what just happened. What just happened did not happen. In fact, it will be edited out of this video. I will go into the level editor. I mean, the level editor, the, the video editor. And I will make sure to erase that. So you can never, ever witness, witness what just happened. <laughs> Somehow, why? 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 <laughs> Let's never talk about it, okay? My brain just had two wires that went. We're going to start communicating now. And those two wires closed the circuit that became short. Ed. And now I'm just full of stupid. Holy crap. Was that maybe the, my stupidest cosmic ocean death? There's been a, a few really bad ones too, so. Oh no, if it qualifies as the worst. There's a very, very low bar to Conga Under. That is my lowest of the low in the Cosmic o Ocean. But man, that's on the top five. Or I guess bottom five humiliating defeats. Has to be, right? It's worthy of a death... Wow, that's a very violent set of, of noises. I am happy that I caused them. Um, has to be. It has to be. One of my stupidest deaths ever. I was just standing still, waiting for the crush trap. Alrighty. Just let myself get super jellied like that. Super awful. Anyway. Let's stop dwelling. It needs to happen at some point. Fat chance of me keeping that onk all the way to the end. So let's just be happy that I lasted that long with it. At least I'm no longer poisoned. But of course, you know, no longer being. Oh boy. Alrighty. That didn't land. I thought it would land. I seen land as in, you know. Actually hit that son of a bitch. First bubble, huh? Like this this guy's a problem. We need to get rid of him. Nope. 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 No. Leave me alone. Actually I can lure that away, right? Let me just murder you through thorns. It will be hilarious to watch you die. 
Wow, that was more violent than anticipated. Um, two bombs to get a great shore. Two bombs to get a great and a very satisfying murder. Once he turns his back. We still have time, though. Let me crack your skull with one of these. Oh, yeah. Eh, got my bomb back and then some. All right. Gotta speed this up a little bit. In one minute and 20. Only found one ball. Ew. Don't grow overconfident. Slow and insidious killer. One more. One more ball. These guys, man, they're just so obnoxious. They're so maddening. Okay, well, that's bad. Gotcha, bitch. Here you go. Okay. Psst. Why am I wasting time with this? It's like, why are you harvesting blood? Do you really want to die in the jungle? At least make it memorable, brother. At least make it into a temple level where you get humiliatingly destroyed. Alright, there it is. I don't know where the exit's at, though. I guess I saw it. As usual, I'll now keep track of it. Alright. Ooh, that could have been bad. I think it was bottom left. Yeah, it's actually right. Top left. Gotta wait at this uh, boomerang boy, though. Not much I can do about it. There we go. <laughs> Whew. That could have been bad. Here we go. This is where I can properly die. And, uh, you know, it will be sad, but it will also be understandable. Like, of course you died in the temple. The temple's rough. The temple's a bad time. A uh, kitty. I don't trust it. Um, that's the last bubble. So, find the exit. Find the exit. Carefully put a bomb there and then leave. So you can traverse this area. There you go. There's the exit, man. I don't even remember where the the bubble was at. Do not trigger the kitty. Do not trigger the kitty. It was at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the top. What's over here? Another kitty, though. Okay, good enough. Really? <laughs> it was below me all along. Well, that makes it a lot easier. If we're the trust tra crush trap, I'm seeing it. Alrighty. I had a panicked microsecond there thinking, oh shit, this is full damage. Thank goodness it was not. Alright, so the exit is uh, right mid. Mid right. Just gotta find those balls. Number one. Number two. <laughs> oh man. Mid right. Nice. Appreciate it. Those short levels. Amazing stuff. Hey yo! Okay, let's not be really poisoned by a pincer boy ever again, okay? It's not that complicated. You bait the frontal attack. And then you stomp the head. Much like when you go to the brothel. You pretend like you're going to go for the front. And then you stomp the head. And then you pay the big bucks because, you know, it costs quite a bit. For the really messed up stuff like that. I think I get comp good compensation, so. So good. 
Okay, I've been here for like an hour and a half. You're going to get bottom of the barrel commentary. Just be glad that sometimes the sentences make sense when you put the, all the words together. That's the exit. So it's mid left. The ball was pretty close to this side. I know it, I saw it. Absolutely beautiful. Back whip right there. Okay, the exit is <laughs> right there. The level was much smaller than I anticipated. I'll be honest, I do not recall. I can't recall where the ball was at. Wow, this level is way bigger than I realized. It's just sh uh, short. Narrow. It's a very narrow level. I would appreciate finding the bubble. Oh, there you are. Let's go to this side. Going from there, huh? Oh, man. I'm once again, doing the thing where I run into the level with a jelly at my back. It's like, what the freaking hell are you doing? Just traverse the path that you're already aware of. Absolute bull rod. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, blood path. Yep. Feels so great. These blood baths feel so good. They're really Bring out my inner. Bring out my inner psychopath. All those blood baths, man! What a great time it is for me to be alive in the death of my enemies. That's the ball. I don't think I found the exit though. I am forbidden from popping the ball. It can be. Anywhere. There it is. It's like, this level is tiny. What are you even doing? Man, it's, it's really hot in here. I need to enable the fan action. Oh, well. Like, I feel the blandest, the blander my commentary is, the more mundane and utterly unremarkable, the better I do in the cosmic ocean. And that's why you don't get the pinnacle of oratory madness that I usually give you because I have sacrificed it. I sacrificed it in the name of... That's a mistake. That's a mistake and a half. Please don't blow up something that I care about. Blow up my family. Blow up my children before the love of my anus. Do not blow up a lava pot. Do not blow up the lava pot. Easy. Oh yeah, violence is my answer to every problem. Hey oh man, a crate. Amazing. They do exist. I've been pretty shit where crates are concerned. I don't think I want to go that way. Exit is bottom right. Let's see if they find a double. <laughs> Always whipping balls. Oh, no, it's not it, huh? I don't want this power kick to go off. This should be easy enough. Just reach it. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll play by your rules, you stupid space jellyfish. What, you think you can stop me from reaching the freaking exit? I know how to navigate this damn place. Nope. Yetis may not be whipped. I thought for sure that was a great toss. There you go. Ah. Okay, last ball over there. Exit is over there. Why don't I always get these amazing levels? Absolutely gorgeous, this level. Exit. Oh, easy. Mm -mm -mm. Not even going to point it out. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say it. I know the number. It's on the screen. I'm not going to say it. not going to point it out. Ooh. Not going to make any comments.
This is nothing special. There are no peanut butters being smeared all over my butt. I like how the pot did not break because it went under water. It's pretty neat. Ow. Slowly harvesting that blood. It's all good. Really, Vladscape is so much more satisfying than the jetpack here. Blood harvest alone is just a, a fantastic time. What the hell are you even doing? There could have been spikes there. You idiot. Ah. Don't get poisoned. That is one thing that can really throw me off. Ow. Oh, because I threw a thing at it. It always catches me off guard. It's like, why? Why are you awake so quickly? You should be dying. There you go. Uh, if you throw something at it, the stun is so much shorter. I think I have time to do this. Hey, nice. All right. Just find the ball. Find the ball. Ah. Good old times in the cosmic ocean. At least I have reached it twice today. It's so soul crushing, man. When you go the whole play session, you don't even get there. It's so awful. <laughs> of course, it makes me want to instantly fire up the next run because, oh, it rankles. It gives me so much gamer salt. Where's the damn exit? I mean, where's the da damn lost bubble? Hit this guy. Oh, well, I did it. That did it. I did not pay attention where the exit was at. Thankfully, I found it instantly. <laughs> Freaking exit sixth sense right here. Leave me alone. You garbage monstrosity. Really so nice. All the mosquitoes. You never really get a chance to get Vlad Cape mosquitoes. Until the cosmic ocean. So it's pretty cool. Uh. I guess I could rope there. Let's get rid of that cursed guy next to the exit. He is death itself. Catch it, bitch. Actually, that was a terrible toss. Never mind. That was a terrible toss. Let's use a rope. I respect you, skull boy. In fact, I'm going to lure your stupid skull garbage away. Oh, this is bad. I hate this so much. <laughs> oh, come on. You could have caught that with your teeth. There you go. Oh, finally. Oh, that gave me incredible super boner. That was great. <laughs> oh, man. I hate those guys so much. Great. Well done. Well done. I wanted to back whip him. That did not work out. Hey, that's nice. Very nice. Respect the monsters. Okay, another. Oh. <sighs> not gonna say it, but it's true. I got the peanut butter. I got the peanut butter, and it's the most delicious peanut butter, peanut butter jelly going on right now. I can let go, right? My my heart has been clenched all this time. I can just let go and die. Like a old man holding on to dear life in the hospital until the daughter finally makes it from Michigan. Oh, she's been traveling for 30 hours. Make it back to her homeland to see her father at the hospital. And the father is like, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on until I see my baby girl. Oh, I can't possibly go. I can't let go without seeing my baby girl. And... Well! <laughs> Poison. And she finally makes it. Makes it to the hospital room. Clasps his hand. Says, Daddy, I'm here, Daddy. And he's like, My beautiful Irene. You have grown into such a beautiful young woman. 
Your brother is getting all the inheritance. You shouldn't have abandoned me. Daddy, no, daddy! And then he lets go. That is how I'm going to let go of this run because I got my peanut butter. There's a crazed croc man. Uh, it's horrendously intimidating. I hate it. <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? <laughs> I mean, I knew he existed. It's so weird. It's like, Lunky said, you got your personal best, now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Okay. All right. I knew he existed. I have some blame into this one. It's a tough one, though. It's a tough one to say that it was a 100% fair death. But hey, got more than uh, halfway there, huh? It's, 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 that's, that's something. That's something all right. See you in the next one.